So I'm here to talk to you about whether or not fibroids affect pregnancy. My name is Dr. Akawande, also known as Dr. A. I'm a minimally invasive specialist and interventional radiologist. So let's get right to it. Do fibroids affect pregnancy? The simple answer is sometimes. Most women don't have any complications whatsoever because they have very small fibroids and it's just incidental. Um, but the most common symptom of fibroids during pregnancy is pain. Um, you can also have a slightly increased risk of obstetric complications during pregnancy. So let's go a little bit more into detail. Most women have very small fibroids and um, in, in fact during pregnancy most women, about 50% of women, would have fibroids that stay stable in size. So they have small fibroids that stay stable in size. The remaining 50% of women may have increased or decreased size of the fibroids. So about 70% of women would either have stable size or decreased size of the fibroids. And so typically for most women you're not going to find any symptoms. However, if you do have symptoms, the most common symptom is pain. Typically, we see pain in the first and second trimester, so usually the late first and early second trimester, this is the time of the biggest growth in size of the fibroid, and that could cause significant pain. Uh, sometimes you can see symptoms of pain in the third trimester due to the size of the fetus compressing on the uterine arteries, um, and this can potentially cause pain. Other symptoms you can see during pregnancy includes pelvic pressure and also vaginal, increased vaginal bleeding. So pain, pelvic pressure, increased vaginal bleeding are the most common things that we do see um, during pregnancy as, as it relates to urine fibroids. So as I discussed earlier, you can have obstetric complications with urine fibroids, but they are also exceedingly rare. Just like the symptoms I discussed, complications are also very, very rare. Um, you can have miscarriage, preterm labor, or bleeding uh, that is, that is um, associated or not associated with placental abruption. And all these symptoms usually occur because of implantation of the placenta close to where the fibroid is. Typically, if you have a miscarriage, you're having a problem with, um, with implantation or placentation. Placentation is formation of the placenta. And this is typically inhibited when you have very, very large fibroids. Both, both complications and symptoms could happen when you have fibroids during pregnancy. However, for the vast majority of women, you will not have symptoms or obstetric complications during pregnancy. So I hope that answered your question. Um, again, this is a very, very common question that I, I keep getting asked. Um, please, if you have any other questions, please leave it in the comments. I will try to respond to, to, all, to all of it as soon as possible. Thank you very much, and um, I'll see you in my next video. Take care.